Right, hello you, and welcome to Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for episode number four, I believe, of Perito, a pro cyclist adventure. Uh, I still need to come up with a decent name, so please let me know in the comments, because, I mean, at this point, this is this is just not good. Um, but yeah, today's episode, we're going to take the uh, one-week race in Spain, Volta Ciclista Catalunya, a, a race, I'm not going to lie, can so that can sometimes be interesting, but when you have this parkour, I mean, right, it's not It's not that it's dead, but this is, like, physically not nice. Look at this. Wait, 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 hold up. That's not the profile I have right there. Wait, something's wrong here? Right, so don't, don't, don't trust the stages there. Trace, trust these. We have Lloret de Mar, uh, sorry, Lloret de Mar, Lloret de Mar, which is a 4.5 kilometer time trial to start this. Then we have a sprint set between Salt and Banyoles. Uh, Hilly between La Val and uh, La Seu d'Urgel, Oliana Asco, Asco Cabaches, Villanova Ila Getru, and Sanguea del Valles Montmelo. You know that a Volta Catalonia is shit when you don't even have the Montjuic stage in Barcelona. There's there's nothing. There's no Valter uh, 2000. There is no uh, La Molina. So yeah, it, it's gonna be odd. Uh, we'll see if we can get some gaps. I'm hoping to have a different scenario from Paris, where I just could not win because Boisson Um And uh, yeah, they're all in the fitness peak. I have finished my fitness peak. But let's go. All right. We're on the way with Purito for four kilometers. Uh, the good thing is it's a prologue. So, I mean, I could try to uh, limit the uh, the losses here. We have TJ currently in the lead in Yara Del Mar um, in the same time as our teammate Vladimir Karpet. Um, I mean, that's the kind of gaps that usually PCM gives to second place. So to second place, sorry. So hopefully uh, Vladimir can uh, stay there and then maybe get first position. Um, but we have just under a kilometer to go now. Purito sprinting towards the line. I have overused him again. Why? I mean, I know, I, I mean, no, he's just bad. Purito across the line, 34 seconds down. Right, Sam Sanchez wins the time trial ahead of TJ and Vlad Carpet, um, but we're going to be far, far down the order. And indeed, it's 88th place, place for us today, 35 seconds behind uh, Sam Sanchez. Right, we may have already lost the uh, Volta Catalunya today. Stage 2, uh, we've got a minus 1 race day condition. Um, we are going to be the sprinter of the team, uh, once again, we're eight, with 68 sprints. It's going to be interesting, uh, but there are a f quite a few hills towards the end. Hopefully, we can make it. Uh, we can make something out of it uh, and try to uh, put the put the time trial behind us. All right, 11k to go, actually 9. Uh, Vlad Carpets just crashed, so it's brilliant. We, we've lost the guy who was third in the GC. Um, Sam Sanchez is right behind us. Uh, behind, sorry, right um, next to us. That's much, much better. Um, but yeah, we're going to try all we can to, to, to grab a, hopefully, a podium. It is a um, a sprint hill, so we'll, uh, we'll try. But um, we'll, uh, we'll have to see. 5k, uh, I don't know whose will to take. So um, it's going to be quite ropes. Is there a sprinter here? There's Oscar Ferrer, I'm going to guess. But I am suppose, oh, I can take his wheel. Go on, lad. Go on, Purito. Do it, do it for the boys. Go on. Go on, go on, go on. Try to stay in the wheel. Don't get blocked by, uh, is that, is that Aito Benitez? No, Pad absolutely not. I was about to say Padu too with a French accent. Love that. Uh, the sprint is on the way, though. I've been absolutely dropped by Oscar Ferrer. Oh, they've stopped. Oh, how interesting. 1.8k. We're going to take, actually, we're going to take the lead of this peloton then, I guess. Um, and we're going to, but yeah, sure, let's follow uh, Javier Benitez. We'll call him Javier. Oh, I can't. Shit. Can I follow Gasparato? Yeah. I should have sprinted. I should have sprinted. It's going to be a win for Oscar Ferre ahead of us in second. And Rinaldo Nocentini in third. Is there bonus seconds? There are. We're going to take six seconds back on Sam Sanchez today. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the start of a comeback. Also, I was just, like, seeing this, but can we appreciate the fact that my team has plus three, plus four, plus four? Like, it, thank you. Because I can't do great today with my fitness, but you lot are doing bits. And I had a, like, I don't know, a moment. I wanted to attack with Purito in the descent. Yep, I've, I had remembered about this, the 58 time trial and the 51 cobble. But the 68 downhill, fam. 
it's just not complete enough. It just isn't. Right, we've been leading the peloton with Vladimir Carpets and Purito in the wheel, uh, trying to uh, cause some damage. TJ looks to be uh, struggling a bit. Our, um, also struggling, Oscar Freire, and that's good, because uh, he could definitely be a threat in the latter part uh, of the stage. Hopefully he won't come back in the descent. Uh, at least that's what I'm hoping for. Seven riders now. Oh, wow. We are really doing a, a lot of, uh, of, uh, of damage here. Levi Leipheimer trying to come back with Andreas Kloden. Um, I don't know if he's the leader of uh, Radio Shack or maybe someone else. Um, like Heimar Zubelja, for example, who's uh, slightly behind. Kim Kirschen is also uh, hanging, on, han sorry, hanging on in the 13-man um, group. Behind the group led by Vladimir Karpets, seven riders. Carlos Astre losing uh, a few meters, but uh, he should probably be able to come back. As Vlad is now going to make the entire descent towards um, La Ceu d'Urgel. Oh, actually, no. No, 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 no. It's going to be a descent led by, uh, by Samuel Sanchez. We're going to take position and hopefully um, be able to uh, hold on in his wheel. 4K. Until the line, Vladimir Karpets is the one pacing. We're going to use the gel with Purito. 53 seconds. The group behind will not make a, a comeback. Um, but we can make a comeback on one guy, on Samuel Sanchez, who is currently sitting in our wheel in third place of this group. Vladimir Karpets. Transcending himself for uh, Purito Rodriguez. We're going to launch the sprint. Ah, it's too late. I think it's... Yeah, it's too late. It's going to be a win for Alejandro Valverde ahead of Samuel Sanchez and Purito. Uh, I need to stop playing badly. I really need to stop playing badly because this is not nice. This is not fun. I'm just being a cunt here. Alright, the good thing is, no gaps, so I'm only going to lose 2 seconds on Sam Sanchez. We move to 7th place of the GC, 31 seconds behind um, the leader of Euskatel. Up next, Oliana Asco, another stage in which I don't see how I'm going to make a difference. Alright, stage 4, the summit to minus 2 for Porito, so I guess, um, I mean, there's progression. He was on a, on a minus 1, so it's consistent. Um, even my team isn't doing fine today. Can I please not get blocked by Evgeny Petrov? Thank you. A stage, as I said in uh, the um, prelude, not sure if that's the word, but we move. Um, it, it's a tough one. Don't say I'm going to create gaps. We might try something because, I mean, I'm, again, I've got Purito. Um, and if I don't attack, I literally have no chance of winning. Might as well finish 8th. I don't care. An attack. Attack from Purito. Joaquim Rodriguez attacks. Sam Sanchez in the wheel. With uh, Alejandro Valverde, I think that's Andy Schleck, it is. It is Andy Schleck, following, uh, followed sorry, by another rider from Luxembourg in Kim Kirschen. Um, the three Spanish, the three Spaniards, sorry, are uh, making a slight gap over uh, over the um, the rest of the riders that I had mentioned. But uh, it looks like Andy Schleck might make a comeback. Counter-attack on the left-hand side of the road from Alejandro Valverde. And, I mean, he is good. He is better than me, that's for sure. And he's going to drop me. And he's also going to drop Samuel Sanchez. We're going to catch the rod of, of uh, Euskatel Euskadi. And take position behind him. And I'm now not going to work at all. Bradley Wiggins, as well, has managed to join us. Very, uh, very uh, good effort from um, from the British rider. We're going to make a move into last place of the group. Uh, and wait until uh, Sam Sanchez just does his work. He is... The one defending the jersey. I am not. I am not. I'm uh, fighting for a third place in the GC here, technically, if I'm honest. Alright. If we can make this little ledge. If we can make it with, the, with these four guys. These three guys, actually. We'll be sorted. Two riders came back with us. Two Frenchmen. Jean-Christophe Perrault and Christophe Lemével. Uh, we are still in the wheel of Bradley Wiggins right now. Uh, we're going to just... Uh, probably get dropped at one point if I keep staying in the in his wheel. He is absolutely on fire today. We're going to catch Alejandro Valverde. That is the first good news. That is the first, um, actually, probably the only good news we'll have in this stage. Um, we have massively slowed down. Christophe Lemével might try to make a, a comeback at one point. Let's, uh, let's take the wheel of, uh, I don't know, Sam Sanchez maybe, or maybe Alejandro Valverde. I'm panicking, I haven't pressed the right uh, keep number. There goes the sprint. Alejandro Valverde is the first one to make a move. Alejandro Valverde, first one to make a move. Oh, wow. Everyone stopped. Okay, great. Uh, we're going to fight once again for second place, I believe, here. We're going to launch our sprint. Hopefully, it's not too early. I know we have no yellow whatsoever. But I'm hoping that this corner just saves us for a bit. It's going to be a win for Alejandro Valverde. Second place for Sam Sanchez. Third place for Anish Lake. Fourth for Porito. Bradley Wiggins and Jean-Christophe Perrault completes today's top six. We are going to move up by... 
hopefully four positions. Stage 5, and this time it's a minus 1 that awaits Burrito. Uh, again, there's some progress this time. We're, we're, we're moving good. Um, Valverde is already in our wheel. That's, that's absolutely scary. Who's first in the point classification? Is it Sam Sanchez? Yeah, by 25 points. Uh, great. Um, another accidented stage. Another stage in which I don't know where the difference will be made. Um, but we're going to try either way. As I always do. Wait. The yellow jersey just crashed. Um, alright, let's, uh, let's, let's definitely not relay Nancy with my entire team, right? Let's, let's definitely not do that. Right, we're gonna give it all we've got in, uh, the, uh, Alt de la Figuera with, uh, first Vladimir Gusev, and then, um, it'll be up to Mr., um, Vladimir Carpet to take the relay. We're gonna try and maybe try to, like, tire, um, good old Samuel Sanchez, and then, if possible, make a, make a move with both Kim Kirshen and uh, Joaquim Rodriguez, which is why I'm not destroying uh, Kim Kirshen as of now. But uh, again, the slopes aren't too tough enough. It just They just aren't. It's a four-man group, soon to be a 12, I believe. I'm going to guess the group with uh, Schleck is going to come back. There, there, is. there it is. Um, right, we've used the first part of the stage in which I could make a difference. There's one more, it's a little hill just before the tr the, the end. Hopefully this time I won't boss on the sprint though. Valverde, man, move. Valverde with Andy Schleg, Sam Sanchez, and we're gonna jump immediately in the wheel of uh, Samuel Sanchez. You can see the, the sprint slightly uh, up the road. It's gonna be a three-way battle for the win today in Capaches, and it's once again probably gonna be um, Alejandro Valverde, unless, unless he, he just um, I don't know, collapses, but no, it's going to be an, uh, a win for Valverde ahead of Sam Sanchez, Purito, and Dishlake, and Ocentini. We've taken the same uh, trio, and it's uh, the same result again. It's the final top stage of this um, Volta a Catalonia, and by top, I mean there's a hill. There, there's, yeah, that's it. There we go. See you, uh, see you for the finish, I guess, because this is just plainly boring. Five cans to the line, and there is, to my uh, demise, a, a breakaway. So, yeah, they have a minute. They, we can't catch them, right? It's it's doable. We can't physically catch them. There is this hill um, as we uh, approach Montrouic. But, yeah, uh, we'll have to see. Is that Valverde already attacking? With 3k to go? Who the fuck do you think you are? Apart from, like... A very, very good Spanish uh, Spanish rider. Wait, how am I still losing energy in his wheel when he's not attacking? How has that happened then? How has that happened? Alright, the finish is just up the road. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Oh, fuck off. Where the fuck did he come from then? And it's... Woohoo, it's a win for Sa for Valverde. Ahead of Sam Sanchez, Oscar Ferrari, Purito, and Ocentini. How, where the fuck did Sam Sanchez come from? On a real, like, genuinely, where? Final stage of this Volta a Catalunya, and uh, we haven't had a single day with a positive race day uh, in, uh, in in this tour, which does not explain, uh, but kind of justifies how I'm this far behind in the GC. I mean, this far behind. I'm 45 seconds down. I know I haven't turned the GC at all during this uh, race. I mean... Basically, it was pure just maths. Like, I mean, yeah, the gaps are maths. Chase Black, oh, you're actually genius. Uh, it, the, there's never been a gap. It's just uh, time bonuses. So, yeah, I'll show, um, I'll show obviously the GC at the end of the stage. But yeah, we have 105 kilometers left to do today. Um, we achieved second place on the first sprint stage. Can we do uh, at least as good today? We'll have to see. Alright, final 5 kilometers in this stage, uh, I would love to control Kim Kirshen right now, because he's the only guy in this team uh, relative, r relatively able to sprint. But uh, we first need to catch this breakaway, and also I need José Luis Arrieta to fuck off out of my way. Alright, Evgeny Petrov, mate, sprint. 34 seconds for the 6 men group at the front. Mathieu Ladenu, César Veloso, Engels, Stinson, uh, I think Dominique Nert is there, and Guillaume Paolo Schola. Can they hold on for the win? They most likely will, indeed. The win today will be... Uh, can I have a... Um, hmm. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll do that. 
It's going to be a win for Gustavo Cesar Veloso for Jacobo Galicia ahead of Adi Engels for Quickstep and Giampaolo Chola. Uh, leading the peloton will be Henrik Hausler, then Alejandro Valverde, José Alberto Benitez, Samuel Sanchez and Joaquim in 11th place. Right, podium time. It's a win for Jacobo Galicia. Well done to them. Congratulations. It's not expected. Woohoo. Um, I expected Mosquero if anything, but not Gustavo Cesar Veloso. GC wise, Sam Sanchez wins the Volta Ciclista Catalunya from uh, the first to the last day. He will wear the um, green and white jersey of, uh, of leader. Valverde comes in second, six seconds behind Sam Sanchez. We are in third place, 45 seconds. Um, then Perro, Wiggins, Rezink, Lemevel, Nocentini, Dan Martin, and Zubeldia, which means that Andy Schleck completely dis disappeared today. Thomas Rorega wins the mountain classification ahead of Maxime Bouet. Points wise, it is yet another win for Sam Sanchez. Uh, ahead, of Sam, ahead of Valverde and Rodriguez, we take the first podium, the same podium, and uh, we uh, literally copied and pasted it in this point specification. Best young rider is Robert Racing ahead of Dan Martin and Andy Schleck, which therefore means that today Andy Schleck lost more than two minutes and a half on the sprint stage. I'm not going to ask any questions. Best team is the Team Katusha, at least. Purito will bring something home today. Uh, but... Yeah, overall, I mean, you know, I'll make uh, my uh, conclusion uh, in, uh, in the classification after. Right, we came third. Uh, now, if we take a look at what happened, basically, take away the time trial in Lloret del Mar, in which I lost 35 seconds, I would have been 10 seconds behind Sam Sanchez. The thing is, Valverde was strong, Sam Sanchez was strong, like the two of them were very strong. I think I bottled it on two stages. There's two stages that I do need to win, and I just play it badly. The one where I lead in the final corner, and I just don't start my sprint until Valverde and Sam Sanchez have already got a gap. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking, because um, I easily lost a win here. Um, and I lost a win at the, um, I think, stage 5. So yeah, overall it's... I mean, it's third place. I achieved what the team wanted me to, what the team, sorry, wanted me to do. They wanted me to be uh, on the top five. I'm third. But I don't know. I, I feel um, it's an underwhelming result. It, it's a third place, right? It just doesn't feel like one. Right, but anyway, this is where we're going to wrap this episode of Purito, a pro cyclist adventure. I uh, hope... I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please, please do leave a like down below if you're new around here and wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, then I highly recommend you to do so. Um, hit the bell to get notified of whenever I upload. Uh, I hope you all are doing well in uh, these uh, confinement periods or whatever. I mean, lockdown, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and bring you some content. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, recent content on the channel. Uh, I'm, I'm recording this before I even record episode one. But technically, there's been the YouTube career mode that has been announced uh, on the channel. I hope I'm not spoiling anything, uh, but I should be fine. Um, and yeah, so I hope you've, uh, you've enjoyed that as well. Maybe I've already hit 1,000 subscribers. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've been talking for way too long. I've been Blackwell. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Stay safe and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the cold, I'm bleeding. But them all the man they feeding, I don't wanna go bomb Them I don't know what I do when I go from mealing Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad Snapping with a phone and dab, I'll stop a man with a duster Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster